Hi there. My name is Kim and normally I'm a CPR first aid instructor. But today I'm going to have a group of people coming in that want to learn how to handle an emergency in their home. They should be here any moment. Coming tonight. Um, they're here from, from where? Texas. Texas. Yeah. Yeah, for once, I'll pick them down. So, does everybody know why we're here today? I think so. We're here to learn about safety. Yes, we're going to be meeting a, a lady that teaches classes about safety. She's going to be talking about how we all can handle an emergency safely. She should be right out. Emergency, right? Yes, we are. Does everyone know what to do in case of an emergency? The most important thing that you can do during an emergency is to stay calm. You can't handle an emergency if you're too excited or too nervous. What's a good way to keep calm during an emergency? Well, the first thing you should do when there's an emergency is take a few seconds to think about what's going on. A lot of times we have to act quickly when there's an emergency, but it's important to stay calm. If you're not calm, you won't be able to do what you need to or get the right kind of help. So calm is important? Right. Being calm is the first thing you should do when you're trying to handle an emergency. What kind of emergencies are we talking about? Well, an emergency can be anything that requires you to get help quickly. It's important to be able to recognize when something is an emergency. If there's a situation or if something happens that you can't handle, you need to get help. Never be afraid or embarrassed to ask for help. 
When shall I help others? You should try to help others when they need it. Hopefully you can tell when someone needs help. A lot of times someone will ask for help if they need it. Other times you may have to guess. Never help someone who seems hostile by yourself and try to use your good judgment when helping someone you don't know. Once again, get help if you don't know what to do in an emergency. I know a pretty common emergency that we all see is choking. What should we do then? Right. Does anyone know what to do if someone is choking? Well, first off, you would do the Heimlich maneuver. Kevin, why don't you come on up here and I'll demonstrate on you. First of all, if you're choking, you need to let other people know that you're choking by using the choking sign. That's like this, Kevin. Good job, Kevin. If you do this, then people will know that you need help. So if I saw that Kevin needed my help, I would first make sure that he was choking. I would ask him, are you choking? And if he shakes his head yes, then I say, can I help you? And if he shakes his head yes, then I would place my arms around him like this. I would make a ball with my hand and pull back and up at the same time. Doing this will hopefully remove whatever is clogging his windpipe. Here, I'll show you all again. Is it okay to touch another person? That's a good question. Sometimes it isn't okay to touch another person for your safety or theirs. If someone is bleeding or has any kind of fluid coming out of their body, you don't want to touch them. In those cases, you just want to get help. In case of someone choking, it's okay to touch them and give them the help that they need if they give you permission. Now, what would you do if you were home alone and started to choke? What would you do? If you're home alone and you start to choke, take a chair or something strong and tall enough so that you can put your belly on it. Then you want to fall onto it or push your belly down on it, like this. Why don't we all stand up and we'll try it together. Kevin, why don't you use this chair right here? Okay, go ahead and put your hands right there. Okay, and lay your stomach over the chair. There you go. Thanks, Kevin. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat? If you can remember those two things, you can help someone who's choking, or you can help yourself. Choking is definitely an emergency that needs to be handled calmly and quickly. By knowing the Heimlich Maneuver, you can help yourself and someone else. Kim, that brings up a good point. When should we help someone else? Well, guys, you should help someone else when you can. Sometimes helping someone else may just mean that you get help or that you call 911. There are some important things to keep in mind when you're helping someone, though. If someone needs help, the first thing that you should do is find out what's wrong. You can do this two ways. You can ask the person what's wrong with them, or you can use your eyes to see what's wrong with them. Remember that if you don't know what's wrong, you can't help. After that, you need to calmly decide what to do. In most cases, you'll want to get help. What kind of help should we get? The type of help that you get depends on the emergency. If it's something that you think is very serious, you'll want to call 911 and ask for help. If it's not very serious, you should get someone around you that may know how to help. If you don't know what to do, find another person. What should we do if we ever have to call 911? There are some things that you should remember if you ever have to call 911. First, when you call, be ready to tell the person that answers these three things. Your name, the address of where you are, and what's wrong. If you don't know what's wrong, just tell the person you're talking to what you see. Remember, Calling 911 is a very serious thing, and it's meant to be used only for emergencies. I had a friend who had seizures. Should I have called 911? 
It depends. It depends on how bad the seizure is. If any of you ever have a friend who has a seizure, you should first stay calm. Getting excited won't help your friend. Then you should protect their head. Be sure that they don't hit their head on anything. The seizure will eventually pass. You may also need to get some help. I heard that you should put something in someone's mouth when they're having a seizure. Is that true? No, it's not. You don't need to put anything in a person's mouth if they're having a seizure. Just protect their head and get help. That's all you should do. What should I do if I get hurt? The same things apply if you get hurt. The first thing you need to do is stay calm. Then you should decide what's wrong, and if you can tell what's wrong, get help. If you can't tell, stay still and yell for someone to help you. Never be embarrassed to ask for help if you get hurt. Just try to remember these three things. Stay calm, try to find out what's wrong, and get help. That's the best way you can handle an emergency.